Netball Training Drills All netball teams should train regularly to work on all aspects of their game. And one of the very best ways to improve on their netball skills is through the use of netball training drills. Here, you'll find several of the very best netball training drills from around the web all brought together into one handy list and take your next practice with you. Drill 1. This drill is performed in pairs and requires one ball for every pair. This drill is best performed on a court that's marked out for volleyball or tennis. First, the feeder makes a chest pass to her right. The worker then moves forward to receive it. It's important that the worker runs onto the ball and does not stop to receive it. Continue to repeat this drill with speed for around 30 seconds and then have the player switch roles. After they've switched and completed another round of this drill you can switch the direction of the pass having the feeder pass to her left. Drill 2. This is one of the most effective netball drills for training players to improve their speed and accuracy on the court. It involves three players and two balls. Once again this drill is best performed on a court that's marked for either volleyball or tennis. The drill involves one worker and two feeders. The worker in this drill receives the ball and then returns a chest pass. They then sprint to their left and return a chest pass by batting it back. After 30 seconds the positions should be rotated. Drill number 3. This netball training drill requires six players in total will three attackers and three defenders playing in one third of the court with one ball. The players should pass quickly and accurately to each other and make sure to never pass back to the player that they received the ball from. Be sure to focus on speed, agility, footwork, and accuracy at all times, and when the ball gets intercepted by a defender that player becomes an attacker and vice versa. To up the ante, you can also bring in a second ball and choose one of the players with the ball to throw first. That player should then throw to the player without the ball the player who has just released the ball gets free to catch the ball from the second thrower, who in turn then gets free to catch the ball off the other player with the ball. If the ball is intercepted or thrown out of the court it then goes to the defenders. This drill is great to improve awareness and agility and it trains players to keep their minds active at all times throughout the game.